Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, we will learn how we can load the data into data warehouse using copy into command. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account. Then click on blue left hand corner. Then choose data warehouse. Then click on workspaces. Then click on your workspace. Then click on your data warehouse. If you are not familiar with how you can create a data warehouse, please watch my other videos. I'll put link in the description. In the last video, we have loaded the data into a data warehouse using data pipeline. Now we will create the tables into our data warehouse. Then we will load the tables from Azure Blob Stories using copy into command. Microsoft has provided some sample data repository. So from that we will use worldwide importers data under which we have different dimensions and fact tables from which we will load dimension city and fact sale file. Let's first create tables into our data warehouse. So for that click on new SQL query. To save our time I have already created the create table script. Let me paste it. Here first we are dropping the table if it already exists. And then we are creating the dimension city tables. So these are the columns which we have in a dimension city table. City key, ID, city, state, country and other columns. And for the fact seal table, first we are dropping it if it already exists. Then we are creating the table into a data warehouse. So in this table, we have foreign keys from our dimension tables and some major values. What I'll do, I'll paste these table scripts into the description so that you can use for your purpose. Let me run it. Our tables are created successfully. Here you can see we have dimension city and Excel table. Now let's rename our SQL query. Click on it. Then click on rename. Provide significant name to your query. Then click on rename. Now we will load the data into this table. Click on new query. To save our time, I have already created the query. Let me paste it. Here I am using copy into command. So first write copy into, then your data warehouse table name, then from keyword and we need to provide the location from which we will read the file. This is the Azure sample data location from which I will read the dimension city file. Then with keyword and what is our file type? Our file type is parquet. So I have put file type equal to parquet. If suppose you are reading the data from CSV, then you need to provide it as CSV. Same I did for my fact sale table copy into table name from then sample data location with and file type equal to parquet let me run it it will take few minutes to load it let's wait for it our query is executed successfully Let's check the data. 
click on dimension city table you can see data is loaded successfully click on faxel table in faxel also our data is loaded successfully if you want to check the data using sql query what you can do click on it then click on new sql query then click on select top 100 rows it will give you the top 100 rows from faxel table same way you can fetch the data from other tables as well that's it in this video in the next video we will create t sql procedure to transform and load the data into a table in our data warehouse